Welcome to episode one of Gig Time. So today we have a rehearsal preparing for a gig this weekend. I'm super excited because this is probably the first time my Kemper has moved in about six months. So it's going to be a long day, a lot of rehearsing to do. Let's do it. We'll see you at the rehearsal. We are on our way out to the awesome OCL studios. We've got a rehearsal space there for tonight. It's about 6 o'clock, so we're going to run some harmonies to begin with. And we're going to do the full rehearsal about half hour after that. Sums up Aaron, basically in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the King Eddie. As you can see, I have my safety mask on, and there's no one else in here, so I can take it off. Uh, we're doing a cool gig, kind of, or different than normal, I should say. We're in this uh, separate room here. Um, this is actually the Rolling Stones bus, and so me, Aaron, and Cam are going to be playing in here. 
and then the rest of the band is going to be outside. So they've got TVs set up and cameras, and the rest of the band is going to be through that window. Let's see if I can get you in there. Buddy. This is where the rest of the band is going to be. Okay. I'm waiting, I didn't wonder if you know it. I think you want me to, but you're too scared to show it. If it's not meant to be, then why can't I get closure? It never started, but it isn't over. Oh, with love and all you. Barstool, keep moving on me. Why this pool cue? Come with me back to my seat. Why that neon getting so hot? Just breathe. It's only half past nine. Could have sworn it was three. Bartender pop the top, make a double hold the rocks. Heartbreaking and it won't stop. And it won't stop. I'm taking too many shots. Open memory loss kicks in. I swear your memory keeps on me when I'm awake and I'm asleep. I don't want to waste another day. Can you tell me where we went wrong so I can move on? Cause it's hard on my need to break. Maybe tomorrow it'll hurt a little less and we'll figure out how to forget. It's just a matter of time till my mind gets stuck. Trying to think of the numbers where down you up till I see your face and I'll feel that. Till I forget the way you gave me all of your love Took it away and gave up on us No, someday I'm strong enough to get you off of my mind Oh, it's just a matter of time It's a fire you're fueling, you know, just what you're doing. Play with the match round gasoline. When you get that close to me, look what you're starting. Paper and a spark, and just like that, you let the flame
So what was recorded here again? Sorry to say. So um, I can... uh, Bob Marley live. Uh, that Bob Marley live album. I think it was like Babylon, maybe Babylon by Bus, uh, in Paris, and then uh, Machine Head by uh, uh, Machine Head by Deep Purple, The Immigrant Song, Stairway to Heaven, most of Led Zeppelin Three, um, When the oh, Levee yeah, Breaks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Isn't like, sick? the list goes on and on and on. Let's recognize you. Yeah. Glenn Johns, that's the fucking Glenn Johns. Yeah. Under the bus. So this is the official. So this is the, yeah. the When the Helios, levee breaks. The Helios board. Oh, the pressure. Um, so originally it would have been, it was a, I believe it was a 16 channel, and then they upgraded it to uh, 32. It's, or it was 16, and they got upgraded to 24. Yeah, and it has a, yeah, that they added it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the best part. The hidey hole. <laughs> the thing is, is that like because the stones, <laughs> the stones had to cross a whole lot of international borders when they were recording because um, you know this was the only thing at the time that could get you a studio studio quality recording outside of the studio. So like literally, the stones lent it out to like everybody that needed it. So I mean, like the Who live at Leeds as well. And, I mean, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. The Rolling Stones came to town and they said, hey, do you want to come see the truck? Mm -hmm. And none of them wanted to except Keith Richards. Yeah. And he, and everyone, no one was allowed to be here. Like, there wasn't like, anyone here to yeah. come in. So he walked in and went, oh, yeah, I don't know this. And he walked around like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that they didn't want to see it when they came. That's that's just what I yeah. heard. But, uh, because it's kind of like they gave up, they gave it up in, like, the 80s. And then, like, they've done so much stuff since then. Yeah. It's like, and okay. they never, they kind of, like, owned it and rented it out. But so they didn't spend, it, like, tons of time? Yeah, and for a while it was not even really their truck because it was recording so many things, you know. Well, and also, like and also they, 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 like, they went in here a lot. Because mm -hmm. they were, in they the were recording in the rooms. Yeah. yeah. Um, but apparently, uh, so the first album they did was Exile on Main Street, and they recorded yeah. it in a big rented castle in the south of France. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, apparently, a whole on it. yeah, that's crazy. They had LG flat screens back yeah, then. Yeah, I know. Little known fact. Pretty funny. But uh, you can get you can get super like uh, you know uh, Jimi Hendrix like the Jimi Hendrix experience like all those yeah. crazy phaser sounds like it's, yeah. it's this era and like you can get it to do, get the board to do all those weird like phaser like. Man, only Daryl knew how to work something like that. Did Hendrix recording it. He didn't record it. Oh, yeah. No, he would have been. Uh, but Dire Straits this was built did a live in, record in this. This was built in '68. Uh, Dire yeah, yeah. Straits did do a live record in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Dire Straits is one of the ones on the wall in here. And then be like, Jesus. okay, start, and then we're like, run back and forth. That's great. And so they all like all to tape kind of thing. Yeah, and like these aren't the original tape machines. Yeah. Uh, the original ones would have been an Ampex. Uh, these are 3Ms. Uh, they're American. So like... It would have been like a British. Yeah. So the Stones had this into the 80s and then they sold it to a studio in New York mm -hmm. and actually recorded live albums in New York by the Ramones and like Patti Smith. Jesus. And uh, and then we bought it in 2000, about 2000. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, oh, so yeah. NMC actually bought it. Yeah. Uh, it was a big, it was like a high profile donor that like put up all the mm. money to get it. And we got it at like a deal because when we got it, it hadn't been serviced since like 1968. So it was like unusable. <laughs> like it was unusable. Uh, but over like 15 years, like our it's been team like, like meticulously restored it. All right, so it's been a couple days since the gig and I just want to do a quick recap. First off, it was really cool to play live again, I'm going to say that. Been way too long and i hope that things keep progressing where we can keep playing live shows like that because the audience as much as us in the band really enjoyed it and i think even though it was a bit of a different situation it was really rewarding for everyone involved so if you watch the beginning of the video you saw the fact that we could not see directly the bass player and the drummer they were in a whole different area than what we were in and that turned out to be a little strange we had our in-ears in with a click, but that was basically the only thing sticking us together. We couldn't make eye contact and I didn't realize up to that point how important it was to just be able to look behind you at the drummer or look beside you at the bass player. So the clips that you saw that were live were actually part of the live stream that the King Eddie put on and I will put a link in the description to the full show if you'd like to look at it in more detail. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog series. I'd like to continue doing them because I think they're kind of fun and they show you kind of the behind the scenes of what it actually takes to get ready for a show rather than just seeing the final product. 
Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help. If you like the video, also sharing it and hitting the like button is super important. So if you could do those things for me, that would be awesome. And until next time, we'll see you. Take care.